Happy New Year to all of my subscribers. Welcome to another video. This is yours truly. This is the new Manchester. And before I get into this video, um, I received three new subscribers to my channel. Um, one of them were sent over to this account by my friend Captain Brandon. I'd like to thank my friend Captain Brandon for sending this new subscriber over to my channel. I appreciate that. And to my and to all of my to my three new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, sit back and relax and enjoy the content. And you'll get your you'll get your money's worth out of these um videos. Um if you don't like any of, the, any of the videos on my channel, I mean, you can unsubscribe if you want. I mean, it's not going to hurt me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and to any of you who are new to the channel, um, if you like the content on this, um, on this account, on this channel, um, Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. So yeah. Um all right. Um freezing here. Um I'm in a yeah, I'm in a secret location. Um I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm at. Um, um yeah um, decided decided to do this video here so yeah um, so I'm wearing this hoodie I'm keeping warm and I'm doing fine at the moment so oh yeah so yeah um, on to the video okay in this video I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna um, talk about Igor the Russian um, yeah, I used to, um, I used to be a subscriber to this guy, to this guy, um, some of the videos that I watched from him moved me, um, in one video, um, he talked about how America is and how people in America are, um, calling Americans stupid, that's true, um, Amer Americans in general are dumb, um, so um this okay I'm looking at his channel right now on my Apple iPad mini and um this is not his original channel um his original channel was um was deleted by YouTube because um he filed a copyright claim because someone took one of his videos and and made videos of their own with with that video on their account and he filed a copyright claim and for some reason um, YouTube deleted his old channel and his old channel videos and all are gone so he went and created a new channel um yeah I'd like to tell a story about this guy um, when I was his when, when I was one of his subscribers um, Yeah, yeah. He used to live in Southern California, and um, he didn't like how the people are out there. I mean, the people were giving him crap. I mean, he went to court over like recording a phone call. Um, I saw a video that he was harassed and um arrested for no reason by the CHP, um, the California Highway Patrol. And he just talked about how antisocial and cold these people in um, in southern california are and how messed up they are so he was fed up with life in southern california and um america in general and just packed up and just went overseas to his home country of russia so he's living in russia right now so um okay um on his old channel um i like to say this um I, I I noticed something. Um, when I um 
every time yeah, when I got done watching his his content on his old channel, and I left um comments on his old channel. Um he never replied. So um and he does this to all of his subscribe as all of his subscribers and and people who are casual people who are casual viewers of YouTube just stumble across his channel and watch watch his videos and they liked his videos. Um Yeah, um Yeah, I, I noticed um every time I left a comment, um he never replied. Period. Um Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, I, I know if you if you if you're the owner of a YouTube channel, yeah, and you're busy, you have you don't have time to talk to people, and, and you and you do have time to talk to people. I mean, yeah, you can like you can like send them a reply and go back and forth with them in the comments. But it doesn't matter if this guy is so so busy. Um, he never replies. Period. So I kept so you know on some of his videos I let I left replies and he never replied I mean and he he replied about like one or two times to me um I replied to him about on one of his videos on one video about um healthcare in America and and healthcare should be free public and universal in America and he replied to me on that then in another video, um, I think on his old channel, or his new channel, or his news channel, or his new channel, this channel, um, I, um, yeah, yeah, ref I left the reply talking about how calm and normal people in Russia are, and he told me, uh, he, he left, he left me a reply telling me that all people in Russia, um, aren't, aren't normal, and some of them are not nice, and th there's some who are, who are the crazies wherever wherever he said it was a funny comment and uh yeah i think it's the fact that i'm you know i'm his english is not that great and oh yeah yeah okay i remember i left i kept leaving comments i kept leaving comments you know nice comments i mean i'll remember the comments that i left that, that i put down on one of his videos so I so I just got fed up. So I just got fed up and decided, you know, that this guy's not gonna say anything to me. So I I just so I so I just left and just stopped dropping comments on it on the videos on his channel. I think think yeah, this is what's on his. I think it was on his old channel or his new channel. I don't know. Okay, um, and this and this is what happened. Um, someone, two people from Texas replied to my re replied to one of my comments and saying that I, I have a like a, a social passive abnormal relationship with Igor and um he um he he's not obligated to respond to you and tell me to go see a therapist. So uh, I lost it and I made 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 a video about that. So anyway, um, uh, I have a friend by the name of Captain Brennan Horror Lover, and he told me he told me stories about Igor the Russian. Okay, um, he was telling me that um, he is um, let's see what he's about um, he's very shady. He's very suspicious of others. He make fun of his subscribers, and he thinks everybody but him is a moron. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I got some strange comments from people from Russia, and they were talking about um his name. Igor's name is um Ye Igor's name is um Segur Agoro, and um. He's a scammer Jew and um he's a con artist and a thief and all of this and um one of them sent me a link. I look at the link and um 
it wasn't him and um the comment these people were sending me who are Russians about Igor like it the, the comments didn't make any sense whatsoever they made no sense so yeah you know yeah so yeah so this guy is very shady um, he's very suspicious of others um, he makes fun of his subscribers and he thinks everybody but him is a moron so um <laughs> yes yeah, it's, it's, this this guy is no good and he is like you know and I also have another friend who told me about him and said that um he has like um trust issues because because he'd been in America he'd been in, in America for far so long and people I think people in America or in, in a part of America that he used to live in, um Southern California, um tore him down. And I guess he's going around thinking that every American is bad and um he has trust issues and he doesn't want to talk to Americans or respond to anybody on one of his videos. So yeah, um Yeah, see, well, I'm gonna say this about myself. Well, I'm a nice person, you know, and people come and and leave comments on one of my videos, you know. This is how I work. I mean, if you leave if you leave respectful nice comments you know and you like my videos and you know you know and you don't um bash me and walk all over me and make fun of me and call me names and put me down yeah i mean you're welcome on my channel i mean your comment will stay up on, on one of my videos and and i'll rep I'll, and i will rep and i will respond to you but um i try to respond to people and youtube deletes my comments due to the fact of you know if i use language in those comments YouTube would delete those comments but if the comments are just g-rated and they're not bad YouTube would delete delete them anyway sometimes but not all yeah I think due to their censorship but you know if you um come on my channel if you say disrespectful hurtful things to me I'm gonna delete your comment if you make fun of me you know I'll delete your comment. Um, Igor, him, he won't respond to anybody because um he has trust issues, and um he's very shady, he's very suspicious of others. He makes fun of his subscribers, and he thinks everybody but him is a moron. You know um. Yeah, I made a video, <clears throat> you know, Igor the Russian, I mean, he's from Russia, I mean, he's from a large country, which half of it is in Europe, and the other half half of it is in Russia, is in Asia, I mean, he's in the European part, which is Moscow. Um, you know, um, I made a video about people in Europe, um, yeah. Europe is a mixed bag, I mean, and it's not perfect. I mean, you got the British who are um who are who who are very grumpy and because um the U the UK is a very grumpy um country. People are grumpy and that's why people are some of them are anti social for the most part. And some people in Britain are, are very nice, you know. Are very sociable. I mean England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Um, I don't think all British people are bad, but you know, there's, there's like there's some Brits in the UK that I don't that um that I'm gonna stay far away from. I mean, there are two British YouTubers, um, Truth Seeker six 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 and Scotty thirty eight sixty one. Um, Truth Seeker six six six. I mean, I used to subscribe to him, and um. I took a look at one of his videos. One video, he was like making fun of a disabled person who was reading the news for the BBC. 
and he told all of his subscribers that he didn't give a damn about them. He don't give a shit. He don't give a fuck about them. And, you know, and that led to me to unsubscribe to him. And um, Scotty3861 is a guy who has Ashburgus. I mean, he's disabled. I mean, he talks about mid tau and video games and music. Um, um, a guy from the UK, um, I'm not going to say his name, told me about him and he was racist. And he, I guess he was racist towards, um, I guess, Muslims and black people in the country. So I unsubscribed from him. Um, uh, I have some um, people from France who um, view my, um, who view my, um, who view the videos on my YouTube channel. You know, um, they don't speak much. You know, they just leave, you know, one of them left a link to an article with a guy who has the same name as me, you know, and I told him that wasn't me. You know, there's a lot of people who have who have this who have the um, same name as me. So, yeah, I heard stories about the French. I mean, they say the French are you know are are, are rude, um, stuck up. I mean, a lot of them don't give you eye contact. They just they just like you know they just walk past you like you don't exist. I mean. And you know, um, some of some of them are sociable, some are not. Um, the Scandinavian countries, um, people are an are very anti-social and ice cold. I mean, they won't talk to you unless they unless you unless they know you, or you know them, or someone in the in the country th that they know knows you. And and what you're talking about, if you what you're talking about is, is is something that gives them value but um if they don't know you and what you're talking to them about doesn't give them value they're not going to talk to you and um and swedish people find people talking to them in public or in or, or or on a bus or on a tram is weird <clears throat> um german people are very sociable people they're happy sociable people and they are. I haven't been to other countries like um, Portugal, Spain, um, Italy, um, some of the other countries in Europe. And I've never been to Russia or Ukraine at all or Latvia or any of those countries. Um, yeah, there's good and bad in Europe. Um, Europe is not a very perfect country, but um, there's some Europeans that... Um, that you and that me and and one of you who live in America who want to get out of America and any of you any of you who live in Canada want to get out of that country. I mean, this is a message to me and all of you guys. I mean, there there's some Europeans that you guys need to stay away from. I mean, guys like um Igor the Russian, Truth Seeker six six six, and Scotty eight thirty thirty eight sixty one, and um. There's also a lot of Europeans who are who are like these guys. So yeah, um Yeah. Igor the Russian, um, he he's a very um shady um person. He's not a good person. Um <clears throat> Yeah, um it seems to me like on his channel like it's just like he just set up his channel as a business. And he just all he cares about is making money. You know, and um uh, there's some dumb um foreigners who live in Europe and other countries outside of America and Canada, North America in general. <clears throat> I think just in um Europe, Asia and um just just countries in those two continents, Europe and Asia. And some tell me that um uh, oh um Stay in America. Um, you you have more freedom and you make more money there. And um, our countries are bad and crumbling and, and you pay higher taxes and you suffer. And all of this crap, you know. 
you know, and I'm, I don't care about money. You know, money to me is not important. All I care about is just enjoying life, you know, just talking to people, you know, and uh, there's some things I like that I want to buy with money, but, you know, overall, uh, money is something that I don't care about because, you know, money doesn't equal happiness. It doesn't buy you happiness, you know. It's just, it's social human connection with others and forming friendships that are important. Not money. Money can't buy that. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, um, I'm not going to subscribe to Igor the Russian and I'm not going to watch any of his videos and I'm not going to have anything to do with them, you know. It looks it looks here that um he hasn't um uploaded a video in um in in a while. Um I haven't been watching his channel. I just stumbled upon his channel the other day, you know. I'm not a, I'm not obsessed with the guy, you know. To all of you who think I'm obsessed with him, who tell me to go see a therapist, go fuck yourself. Because I'm not crazy. I'm not obsessed with this guy. I mean, to all of you who, who, who think I'm nuts, who think I'm obsessed with him, and tell me to go see a therapist, I'm not seeing shit. I'm not gonna see. I'm not gonna go into some fucking building and talk to some and talk to some stranger and have them dope me up on pills. You can forget that because I'm not going to do that. I'm not crazy. You guys are nuts. You guys don't have a clue. If you guys who are Americans who, who tell me to go see a therapist and thinking that I'm obsessed with Igor, go fuck yourself, okay? I'm not crazy. You know, dumbass Americans, goddamn. Anyway, um... Here's some things I found out about Igor. Okay. Okay, um Here's 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 some information about him himself and his channel. Um How to help the channel. F your funds will go towards purchasing an apartment, car, and other necessities of life in Russia. Thank you. This guy wants me to like wants wants his subscribers to um to go to go give him money so he can go buy himself an apartment, a car, and, and things that he needs in Russia. You want you you want um, I mean, you want respond to any any of you any of your um any of your subscribers. Are people who leave comments who want to talk to you. You want you don't want to you don't want to talk to them, but you want them to give you money to buy an apartment, car, and other things. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Screw you. Okay. Okay, um, here's some information about him. I was born in Moscow, Russia. At the age of 13. My family immigrated to U.S. In my early 20s, I was very ill, had endless stomach pains, had, had endless stomach aches, had endless stomach aches, depression, was diagnosed with a vision disorder, caragositis. On this channel, I share my thoughts about U.S., Russia, politics, psychology. Social media and donation links are below. All funds go towards creating content and making making the channel better. <clears throat> it seems to me that this guy is just had his YouTube channel just to do business. You know, I'm I, I'm not gonna set my channel up channel up like this. Okay, um. Uh, <clears throat> He talks about sending him money so he can buy. He, he tells his subscribers and people who subscribe to his channel to uh, give him money so he can buy an apartment, a car, 
and other necessities for him to have in Russia. I mean, you want people who view your channel to do all of this for you and you don't want, and you don't want to talk to them. I mean, what's the point of starting a YouTube channel if you're not going to talk to any of your subscribers? I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, it's kind of like me starting my starting this account, my YouTube channel and never talk to people and want people to give me money so I can buy things so I can buy things for myself. And I just like I don't give a damn about my subscribers. I I'm very suspicious of them and make fun of them and I'm shady and I think everybody but me is a moron. I don't operate like that and I don't. And my friend um Captain Brandon told me that um he went on um Winston Wu's um forum of um Happier Abroad and left um what did he say? Um he said that um he left he left a very strange, um disturbing, um messed up um post on you on um on Winston's Winston Wu's um happier broad forum. So I don't know what, what that was all about, but you know it seems to me that this guy's this guy is is a crook, a scam artist, and a thug. Cause that's basically what he is. And uh, you know, I'm I'm assuming from 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 one of those Russians who left a comment on a video that I did about him, tell me that that tell me that um he's a scam artist and he's and he's using a fake name. So yeah, um. So this guy's very shady and plus um he has another YouTube channel where he has a friend where him and his friend just do videos and they just they just talk in Russian. And this channel right here, this is his English speaking channel for his English speaking um um audience. <clears throat> so um this guy um <clears throat> seem to me um this guy is a scumbag a thug and someone who's no good and um as some dumb americans dumb people from the states sent replies and and said that sent, sent replies on a video that i did about him saying that oh um you probably stole videos from him l l o l laugh out loud yeah, I defended myself. So I didn't steal videos from him. And those people gave me um six dislikes and I got four likes on the video. So you know what? I, I really don't give a damn, you know. So these dumbass Americans who who um who subscribe to his channel, who view me at who view me as the bad guy, I don't give a damn, okay? You guys don't know nothing about me. So there, you know. You know, and I'm not going to steal any videos from uh, from other YouTubers. I'm going to make my own. I'm going to make my own content. I have the talent and the mindset to do it. I also have a sense of humor to back me up on making on making videos for my channel. So uh <clears throat> this guy you okay, Igor the Russian wants to talk about um he likes he he shares his thoughts about America, Russia, politics, and psychology. But um, if people leave him comments on stuff like that, he will never respond to them. Period. If there's something like that, make like he won't respond to anything unless some unless you talk about his country. If you talk about his country or healthcare or any things that that will make him respond to you, he will he will respond. But other stuff like um you know like have you been to this part of Russia or this part of Russia I think I asked him that question and he never replied period So um I don't know this guy's very old I mean I, I think he's about Winston Wu's age I think he's about my sister's age 
I think he's in his um, late 40s or early early 50s. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this guy's old, and he is. And um, I think on one of his videos, he talked about um, he had to watch what he eats. He had to be careful what he eats. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing that as well. I got to be careful what I eat. Um, plus, I try to exercise and stay in shape. Um, okay. I'm looking at some of his videos. Um, okay, one video, he talked about America and show business. And he talked about Tesla Cybertruck review. It sucks. And he talked about the um the Terminator Dark Faith um of truck um whore something like that um. So what he say um Tesla Cybertruck review. It sucks. The Terminator Dark Faith of trucks whore. Um. How I moved away from California to Russia. Um, okay. Losing Soviet pass. Moscow State University. Amazing Russia meal for $3. I like to go outside now. Update of my life. Like. What's the point of me? Like what? If I'm a subs If I'm an Igor the Russian subscriber. Um. What's the point of me like watching his videos and he views me as an idiot and doesn't want to reply to me and have trust issues? I mean, and what's the point of starting a you starting a YouTube channel if 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 you're very sus if you're very suspicious of others and you are shady and um and you're very suspicious and you think and you make fun of your subscribers. You think everybody but you is a moron. Like, what's, what's the point of me, like, having a YouTube channel and thinking that way? Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, if you just if you just want to start a YouTube channel just to, just to run a business, like, you know, I think you shouldn't be on YouTube at all. Or maybe, um, I don't know if he has a Facebook page. He probably doesn't. So... Yeah, um, I guess some people want to be private and they don't want to like put themselves out there online, you know, and, you know, I respect that, you know, I'm not mad at those people, you know, but, you know, I'm just going to say, um, Igor, the Russian is garbage and any, any one of you who are in any one of you who want to watch his videos or I want to subscribe to him. I mean, more power to you. I mean, I'm not trying to stop you, but you know, I'm a, I'm just going to say this guy is no good. Stay away from him. Um this guy's a shady this guy's a shady disrespectful crook. You know, it's kind of funny, you know, um these foreigners like who who are crooks who do bad like <laughs> They they can barely speak English. It's just it's just so funny, really. Like I'm being screwed by a guy from another country whose English is really, really, really bad. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect all Russians who 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 doesn't who don't speak English good. But you know, I'm gonna say you know there's some good people in Russia, but you know. There's some bad people in Russia as well. And um, Igor the Russian is one of the bad ones. And he is, you know. You know, I don't think he's going to like stumble across this video on my channel. Or, 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 it, or you know, or, or, or in, res or, or in um, results and watch it. Because, you know, he's not going to watch anybody's content. You know, he just, he just an island to himself. He just by himself, you know. Um, yeah, he got 255 subscribers, so, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up, I don't have that much memory on my um, smartphone, um, 
Yeah, there's a video he talked about why his channel was terminated. Um, my channel was terminated. Yeah, his his original channel, and that's why he created this new channel. So you know, I have no interest in going near Igor the Russian. So I'm gonna stay away from this guy, and and yeah, I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with them. So yeah, and, uh, if I'm in Europe. I'm going to stay away from people like him. Because, you know, in Europe, you know, you got a lot of pit pocketing. And um, in, in, in the UK, you got a lot of stabbings. You got people who got different methods of um, pit pocketing you by um, pretending to, to be for, for some like um, some thing or whatever. So, yeah, so I'm going to be very, very, very careful when I'm in Europe. Yeah, plus, um. Yeah, I think when he, when he went to school in America, um, he yeah I think he was a kid. He went to school in some school in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, up in New England. Um, he said that um he was picked on by the kids, picked on and bullied. You know, I'm, I'm no stranger to that. I mean, I've been picked on and bullied as well. So yeah, um, Europeans, you know, they come in different forms. You know, you got the good. You got the bad. You got the educated. Then you got the un. You got the uneducated. I mean, um, people s tell me that Europeans are un are are educated, but you know I'm not. You know, Europeans are not all educated. You know, like there's some British people who who don't know who don't know how evil and bad the British Empire was. So you know <laughs> they don't know because you know. The schools that they went to never teach them that, and they never learn about American history or history of countries like and countries like outside of their country. Uh, yeah, um, um, yeah, you're, you know, people in Europe, um, yeah, um, some are sociable, and some some are sociable and like to talk to you. Others don't, you know, you know, if you like, you know, if you like put into a, um, like if, if you go on a trip with a European, you know, a survival trip, you know, yeah, yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll talk to you. They want to get to know you. Then when you start to do things with them, they'll say, oh, wait, 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 um, um, there's too many cooks in the kitchen, you know, they don't want to be overwhelmed, you know, and Americans like to overwhelm people with things, you know, then they, um, they just be antisocial and distance, you know, and just don't say anything to that person. They just go and just worry about themselves and just do things for themselves, you know, and this happened to a woman in, in Texas on this TV show called, um, um, naked and afraid. And, um, she got tired of this European guy give him, giving her the cold shoulder and, and, and not responding to her and let her, like, help him out. And um, it started out, like, he 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 and her were talking to each other. Then on, then on the, um, I think, during the, um, during the um, contest, um, he saw that um, she was, like, being, she was, like, putting a lot of stuff on him and overwhelm him and he said well um no 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 um that's just too much that's too much too many cooks in the kitchen too many cooks in the kitchen and somewhere down the um, episode he just stopped talking to her and just didn't want to have anything to do with her and just worry about himself and she kept trying to help him out help him out help him he just she just lost it and snapped and wanted to kill the guy and she was booted off the sh she was booted off the episode booted off the show and um he won the naked and afraid challenge and he talked about um his struggles and with his family and all um i don't remember uh, i didn't i i didn't know what country he was from but yeah um yeah you're going to find people like that in europe you know if i'm stuck with that person i'm not going to lose it i'm just going to just worry about myself, you know, that's all, I, that's all I can do, I mean, but, you know, if I get hurt or something, will he help me, 
I don't know. He probably would. He probably won't. Um, but I'm assuming that um. Yeah, he'll probably just leave me hanging and just worry about himself, and I'll just probably get helped by um the television crew or whatnot or other people. So yeah. Um, yeah, and then you got some you got some scam artists and you got some backstabbers in in Europe. You got people like like Igor the Russian who are who are just scam artists and backstabbers. You know, overall, you know, Europe isn't bad. The countries in Europe aren't bad. Europe has its flaws; they have their problems, but they but they don't have the over the top psychotic, crazy, dysfunctional problems that the United States has. You know. Yeah. Europe isn't far from perfect, but you know, I'll choose living in, in in countries in Europe over um America and Canada. All right, that's all I got to say in this video. Igor the Russian sucks. All right, bye. Oh yeah, I just want to add one more thing um uh, about Igor the Russian and his um vision problem and his um stomach and his stomach aches or stomach problems that he has you know um, yeah um, yeah um, uh, you know um kind of feel sorry for the guy but you know overall the the guy is just a rotten scumbag um he doesn't you know, um he he doesn't care about his subscribers he treats them like dirt you know, um, and he has the nerve to get them to give him money so he can get an apartment and car and, and, and a car and things that he needs in Moscow, Russia, you know. Feel sorry for his illness, but you feel sorry for him having an illness, but, you know, the guy's a piece of crap.